أفضل Thanks for choosing to watch the video. Uh, you're actually joining me down in the New Forest, which is somewhere that I've been coming to for uh, probably 10 or 15 years since my kids were tiny. It's somewhere that we come as a family. Uh, we enjoy all sorts of outdoor activities. I'm on the Hampshire-Wiltshire border at the moment, um, and it's an area that's well known for its rivers and specifically its chalk streams. In this video, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, I'm grabbing the fly rod and I cannot wait because tomorrow I'm going fly fishing on a beautiful stretch of chalk stream. Well, might have had a couple too many madries but no problem, I'll be all right. Just looking forward to the morning when I'll be fly fishing on the River Test. Straight away that first bit of river felt quite overwhelming, it's quite wide, quite big. I'm going to walk down to the bottom of the beat, in fact I'm going to walk the whole length of the beat just to see what it is that I'm dealing with uh, and then fish from the bottom up, which is chalk stream etiquette as I understand it anyway, so let's do that. Put a fly on now. It's got a little bit more weight to it and it's sinking a bit quicker. Um, I can't make a difference, I don't know. Started right on the surface to see if anything was rising. Just sort of going down in the water a little bit. It's quite a big, sort of wide fairly pacey stretch of river which is quite challenging hopefully I'll find something that works slightly having one of those where I'm struggling to settle into my session a bit kind of get that on new new stretches uh, you know I can't just I don't know where the fish are uh, I'm covering a lot of bank and looking more than I am fishing almost can't see anything rising uh, no real, well there are, there's a couple of features that I think are worth exploring a little bit more than others. But yeah, good thing is this beat is only about a thousand yards long, so I'm going to go up and down it quite a lot and really get to know it. So I'm going all the way to the top now because there was an area I quite like the look of there. It's 
very cold. So, I don't know, normally on the lake when it's cold, I like to fish low, like even with a sinking line. Part of me feels like I want to get down in the water. There's another fish rise there. I think this might be quite a good spot actually. Just as you come off these shallows. I'm going to cover this for a while. Right, and I could have a fish from here. Just had a chat with a bailiff and he confirmed it's a good area as well. But it's the only spot where I've had even a little bit of interest. Oh, I'm well pleased with that. I didn't get it on the GoPro and the tape came up and slammed it. Put on a damsel and that's what it wanted. It's not a big fish, but I'm still really pleased. Came up and slapped it. A little brownie. Oh, yes. Knew they were in this spot. I could see them. Oh, yes. Lovely. Gone through a few flies put on a damsel, had this little fella straight away, not big, but he is a chalk stream brownie. Really pleased, damsel fly. So let's have a few more casts, hopefully see if that fly produces some more. Right, so we have, we found a spot on a method that works. That is the question. A damsel, I, you know, I'm not a hugely experienced fly fisherman, but a damsel just seems to be such a good fly. It's always done well for me. Oh, we haven't blanked. To be honest, it's quite a wide, big bit of river with quite a lot of flow, and I wasn't feeling that confident. But I've now seen a couple of fish rise and I've had a fish on the damsel, so confidence is a little bit higher than it was. Taking a break from the fishing just to show you the outfit that I'm actually using. Um, I've got a Gray's rod here, it's a seven weight rod. Fairly simple fly reel just to hold the line. Don't think you need to spend a fortune on a reel when you're fly fishing, it's not really doing much. Onto that, I have got floating line. I've got a tapered leader. The tapered leader that I'm using is 0.6 millimeter at the butt, and it actually narrows right down to 0.20 millimeter, which is about six pound breaking strain uh, at the tip. Onto the end of the leader, I've just got a couple of foot or so of just my drop shot fluorocarbon and six pound breaking strain. I think you could probably go down to four, but I would probably stay somewhere between four pound and six pound right at the end, because uh, there are some fairly decent sized brown trout in here. As for what's in my fly box, uh, I've got a range of flies. Uh, I've got buzzers in there I can see. I've got hares ears. I've got some that sort of like weighted so I can get them down in the water, which is particularly good when it's as cold as it's been. Um, I've also got damsels, they're, they're what's been working well today um, and I think I'll probably stick on those until they stop working, although I will rotate it slightly. Um, you know, I've got little bloodworm patterns. I've also got lots of dry flies, uh, so like Adams, uh, sh uh, Shipman's and um, uh, I've got a whole range of dry flies, but to be honest, unless I see them rising uh, on the water, probably won't use the dry flies too much. Um, you know, as it warms up, I'd love to get one off the top on the dry fly. But to be honest, it's just feeling a little bit cold. I think if I came back in about a month's time, I'd love to be using some of those dry flies. But there you go. You know, I haven't got a huge selection of flies. I'm not, you know, I don't go fly fishing enough to, to have a particularly sophisticated uh, palette of flies. Um, but you know, I feel like I've got all the basics covered there. There you go, uh, it's the damsel that's been working and it's the damsel I'm gonna keep going with, I think. Mm -hmm.
Felt like it might have got hit a couple of times then. Oh yes, look at that. Did you see that rise there? That was a big fish there. Feels like there's some fish through this bit in front of these boards. We are definitely here in front of this swim. <laughs> I can't catch them. It's not because they're not here. It's because I'm not good enough. Oh, first take. And I missed it. That's where they are. Well, it's good. I've found some fish in this very shallow area in front of these boards oh, I've just got to try and catch them <laughs> easier said than done sometimes let's open the cast out there there we go at last Oh, has it come off? Oh, I don't know what it's doing. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, oh, oh it's tiny. Uh, what have we got? It's a tiny little trout. Oh, let's bring him in. I wonder if it's these that are out there. Oh. Got one, and it was this little fella. <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't spent the last 45 minutes fishing for them. Having said that, he is beautiful, and it was a lovely take. Did manage to get one. I'll slip him back, and hopefully, there's a bit bigger out there. It's like you don't even want to retrieve, particularly. Maybe the odd twitch. Mainly just let it come down in the flow. Once it gets into the flow, the fly starts to move too quick and it doesn't look natural. You can see them rising still. Oh, different platform. Let's try this one. Oh, one of these little ones again. What is it? Oh, a little out of season grayling. I switched to a hairs here to get down in the water. It's slightly weighted. Now this little fella. Look at this. I think one of the coolest things is when you hire sort of beats like this. Quite often you get your own little hut. Let's have a quick look around. I mean, it's not open at the moment, but I reckon they'll come and open it at some point hopefully we'll get a look inside out the front of it loads of benches as you can see just here look there's my stuff look there's the benches and there is the river and later on that day they did open the hut so we had a quick look Looks like they're sort of using this one temporarily as a bit of a tool shed, but all the other beats do come with lovely little huts where you can sort of like, you know, shelter, maybe make a hot drink or whatever. They want it quick. I've been 
tipped off about an area up here. Uh, gonna try that. Where I've sort of seen fish and had fish seems to be where it's shallow. Well, no, deep water coming off of shallow, if that makes sense. So I'm sort of been going up and down the beach looking for shallow water and fishing sort of just off it where it deepens off. That seems to be where I've seen most fish. Uh, it does feel like a bit of a pattern. Fish rising on that car boat over there. Oh, the most awkward spot naturally. Let's have a go. Let's go and get the rod. Oh, GoPro wasn't running, I'm gutted because I did manage to get it off that far bank. I moved up a swim and I've nailed it. Could see it working that far bank. Yes. Could see that fish literally working the far bank. He's not big. Uh, and yeah, he was working it. You could see him. That wasn't bad angling, that, even if I do say so myself. A uh, bit annoyed that I didn't have the GoPro on. Because they were working that far bank. I could see him going up and down. Oh, moved up a swim to get a better angle. And I got one on. That is the third one so far. Lovely. Smashing. It was him that was working the far bank and yeah, presented a fly to him. And uh, yeah, he took it almost straight away. Uh, shame the GoPro wasn't running when I hooked it because it was quite quite good the way that we uh, we sort of like saw it feeding and, and got a fly to it, but but never mind. A stunning, stunning little brown trout. Had it. Love that. A rod. Yes, wasn't expecting that. Oh, magic. How cool is this? It's a bit bigger, this one as well. I had to really work at this today. I think what I might be doing is overworking the lure a little bit too much. Just got to let it come down with the flow. Yeah, this is a better fish, this one. I want to get used to this bloody line everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> That's all right, he's coming up towards us. Come on, come on. Well pleased with this if we get this in. There he is, look. Come on. Let's get him in. Come on, come on, come on. There he is. <laughs> yes. Oof. Super. So having to work for these fish a little bit, but that was awesome. A better fish, 
there we are, look at him, stunning. Brown trout, fought really well, again on a damsel. That uh, seems to be the fly. Um, we'll keep going. Hopefully we'll catch some more of these stunning, stunning fish. Thanks for choosing to watch the video. Please do remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. It would mean a lot to me if you did subscribe. I know not all of you do. Some of you might have noticed that um, this video was actually shot at the Timsbury fishery. Um, anyone can fish it. You can just go look at their website, buy a ticket. Uh, you know, this is accessible to everyone. So if you've ever thought about trying it, get yourself a fly rod. Get yourself a few flies and come and have a go at fishing for these beautiful chalk stream fish. I have been out on my first couple of tent sessions of the year. Um, it hasn't been very fruitful to be honest. Some of the lakes I've tried I think have possibly been a little bit too big. Uh, I think the bigger lakes take a little bit longer to warm up. Uh, so I might try having a go at them on smaller ponds before I then go back to the bigger pits. But that's me, that's what I'm doing. Um, whatever I'll be doing, I'll definitely be enjoying my fishing. I suggest you do the same. Uh, until the next video, look after yourselves and be lucky.